Hi, I'm Josh from TorchDirect.com. Today we're going to be looking at the H502 from Zebralight. The H502 is a headlamp style flashlight which uses one AA battery. In the box, the H502 comes with a pocket clip, an adjustable headband, and spare O-rings. The H502 uses a Cree XML Cool White emitter and the max output is 260 lumens. The H502D is the daylight version, which uses a Philips Luxion Rebel Neutral White emitter, and the max output for the H502D is 170 lumens. Zebralight states its numbers based on measurements they take at the factory. The H502 is strictly a floodlight with an even spread of light at 120 degrees. The battery runtime on high mode you can expect just under one hour, and on low about three months. Zebralight uses premium aluminum and natural type 3 class 1 anodized finish on all their products. It feels really solid in your hands. The H502 is 2.76 inches long and weighs in at 1 ounce. The H502 uses an electronic soft touch switch and is slightly recessed in the top of the light. You can also slightly unscrew the tail cap and it will lock out the power to prevent accidental activation. Zebralight manufactures everything within the body, and they use custom lenses with anti-reflective coating. The reflector in the H502 is designed for an even flood and glows in the dark. The H502 is waterproof to IPX8 standards. This just means that it is built to withstand full submersion in water. Zebralight is known for build quality and light performance. Now let's look at the user interface. From off, just a short click turns the light to high mode, and a short click at any other time will turn the light off. To get to low from off, press and hold for about a half a second and release. To get to medium from off, you have two choices. You can double tap from off, or you can press and hold. It will start at low, and then you can just start cycling through the modes, and you can release on medium, or any of the other three modes. Each of the three modes has a sub-level. To access the sub-levels, you just double tap the switch while the light is on and it will go into the sub-level for that mode. This is a dimmer output, but not dimmer than the mode below. For further customization, the sub-level of high, medium, and low are programmable, and you can fine-tune your brightness or even assign a strobe. To access this feature, you must have the light on, Double tap the switch six times, and on the seventh double tap it will start cycling through your choices. Continue to double tap until you find what you like. Press the switch once to set, and this will also turn off the light. Modes are set into memory even during battery changes. You can quickly check the battery strength by performing four short clicks from the off position. The H502 will then flash one to four times indicating the battery capacity. The H502 also has a low battery alert when the light is switched off. The LED will flash every 80 seconds if the battery voltage is below 1.06. It doesn't take long to adapt to the intuitive interface and you'll be able to command the perfect amount of light before you hit the switch. Zebralight spends a lot of time on the development of all the aspects of their flashlight design, and the performance and quality are consistent in all the lights they produce. For more information about the H502 and the H502D and other lights, click the link below to check out our website. I'm Josh from TorchStrike.com and this was a look at the H502 from Zebralight.